If you have watched our previous video, you had the chance to know about financial instruments, how they work and how they are created. But creating them or issuing them isn't enough for a financial entity. A financial entity needs to sell or trade those instruments to generate money in an economy or to simply put it to make themselves a profit. We all know there is a place called the market where all our necessary goods are sold, bought or traded. Similarly, financial instruments have such markets. They are called the financial markets. In a financial market, financial instruments like stocks, bonds, derivatives are traded at a low cost. To be more precise, financial market is more popularly known as an exchange or a stock exchange. There are various stock exchanges around the world. Some have physical existence like the NYSC, the DSC or the LSC and some have electronic or virtual existence. Stock exchanges are mainly named after the cities they are physically located in, such as the DSC, the Dhaka Stock Exchange, or the NYSC, the New York Stock Exchange. In a stock exchange, no corporate affairs like mergers, spin-offs take place. Don't worry, we'll cover these terms on another video. For now, let's stick to markets. In a financial market, two companies or people agree to trade stocks or any other securities. There are so many financial markets that every country is home to at least one, though they vary in size. Some are small, while others are internationally known, such as the New York Stock Exchange, that trades in trillions of dollars on a daily basis. There is one thing you need to be very careful about and that is before entering a financial market or participating in any trade, sophisticated and significant amount of knowledge is required. An investor can gather knowledge of stock by considering many factors or in a more precise term indices. We will cover what to look for before investing in another video. But for now, let's just focus on what the financial markets are out there. Financial markets are easy to identify. We learned about various instruments on our previous video. Financial market is named after the instruments it trades in. Stock market. A stock market has a physical location containing various brokers. General people strike deals with the brokers to buy a stock, which is essentially a very small amount of ownership of a company. When the company does well in the market, people make a profit. OTC markets or over-the-counter market. OTC markets do not have any physical location nor it requires any broker to operate. Every trade and deal are done electronically. People just sit in front of a computer screen and deals between two parties without any influence of a broker or any other financial intermediary. One thing to be noted is that OTC stocks are not publicly listed on any stock exchanges like NYSC. In general, companies that trade on OTC markets are smaller than those that trade on primary markets, as OTC markets require less regulation and costs less to use. Bond Markets In a bond market, bonds are sold or bought. A bond is essentially a pre-contract of a loan or debt. A company loans an amount of money and that company is to provide a certain interest for that loan at a certain amount of time. All these are specified in a contract which is called a bond. Commodities Market This market is perhaps the closest to our regular day-to-day -day market. In this market, precious elements or natural resources like gold, silver, oil, meat are sold. These elements are unpredictable. Their price fluctuates all the time, like stock, and that's why they require a special market to be traded in. Derivatives market. Now, this market is quite interesting. We learned about derivatives in the previous video. To understand this market, let's bring in an interesting term called futures. Basically, it's a bet on a certain price. In the commodities market, the price of the commodities fluctuate. Let's bring in Mashiach, an investor, and Ishmael, a gold dealer. Ishmael sells gold at a price of $100 per gram, but he predicts that this price may go down in the future by $20. On the other hand, Mashiach thinks the price will go up by $20. So now they are in a disagreement. They bet against each other and set a future date when they will trade the gold. Now if the price goes down, Ishmael profits as the market price in the future will be $80 but he gets to sell it at $100 for the contract. On the other hand, if the price goes up, Mashit wins, as she gets to buy the gold for $20 less 
than the market price. The contract that was derived was based on the price in the present market. Hence the name derivatives market. So dear viewers, we have covered all there is about the financial markets in this video. We hope to see you soon on the next video. So farewell and stay tuned.